Hello, it's Dan DeLuca coming to you from my back porch. And you might hear some sounds in the background. That's some guys playing tennis in the uh, tennis courts across the street from me. Anyway, today I'm going to talk about some potential mindset traps. So these are some things to watch out for, like, like be aware, like monitoring your thinking, like listening, listen to what you're telling yourself, okay, and monitor for this. And when you notice yourself telling yourself these things, you want to stop and you want to reframe whatever it is or maybe just get up and walk away. However, um, you definitely need to monitor this and um, take, take some kind of action. So mindset traps. You want to be prepared for these and you basically, uh, the way around them all is to push through. So here's what to look for. A few things. Uh, the first mindset trap is comparing yourself with others. Comparing your, your results with others. Comparing how you look on camera with others. Comparing the sound of your voice to others. Comparison. Listen, the only real competition you have is with yourself. You know, the the six to four inches between your ears is your is the toughest uh, part of the world to to deal with. You know, when you're golfing, they say in golf, uh, the hardest uh, distance is the four inches between your ears. Um, same with you. So if you're comparing yourself with other people, stop it. And just look at the results you've produced and notice how you're making progress. Com you can compare yourself today with your, uh, yourself yesterday, and the whole idea is to get better. Okay, um, mindset trap number two is self-doubt. Like, I can't do it. You got to turn that around. And the easiest way is to say, yes, I can. Basically, if anybody's done it, you can do it too. It might take uh, perseverance. It might take thinking outside of your own little box. It might. It definitely will take getting out of your comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone. Do it. You can do it. And um, I'd like to mention that this is a good place where having a coach is really helpful. When you're getting into these mindset traps, if you have a coach, a mentor, even an accountability partner, calling them up and having a conversation, help having them help you turn it around and get your mind focused back on producing results is really effective. So consider having a coach, mentor, accountability partner, somebody you can actually talk to. All right, uh, mindset trap number three, fear, being afraid. What are you afraid of? You got to stop and you got to look at it and you got to frame it as, is this thing that I'm afraid of going to hurt me or kill me? And if it isn't, then there's really nothing to be afraid of. It's all right here in your head. Stop saying that to yourself and do the thing. You got to get out of your comfort zone. Your brain and your, your, your primitive brain is designed to keep you safe from anything, even if it, if, and, and, and mostly these days, we are safe. So work through your fear. Work through it. Just do the thing. All right, and the fourth thing I'm going to talk about as a mindset trap is perfectionism. So perfectionism is really a story, it's an excuse, it's a reason to not have results. Perfectionism will stop you and it will kill you in your tracks. So the deal with perfection is um, focus on the progress you're making or the progress you intend to make and not on perfectionism. What I say about per to perfectionists, and this is my motto really, is ready fire, aim. Get it? I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my newsletter where you can get more business building tips, marketing tips, and all around good stuff. Go to dandeluca.com slash newsletter and subscribe today. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.